Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are kind of kicking off summer videos with the back patio and deck makeover, refresh, whatever you want to call it, getting it ready for summer. Um, it has been a long time since I posted a video. Um, it's just been a very, very busy season of life with uh, summer starting and the kids are full blown in sports right now. I just we don't have any time <laughs> to do anything so as you'll see this video I had to do in several different takes and days um, and you'll see the weather kind of changing from hot to cold again it's been really bizarre weather here in Ohio um, but I needed to get this done because summer is around us and we do use this area so much so I wanted to get everything cleaned off so I can get it power washed and wipe down the walls with the cobwebs in that room where we have the fan um, and just get this ready to go for summer for um, cookouts and uh, both of my husband and myself my our birthdays are in the summer so we just want I just wanted to get this all cleaned off for that so that is what I'm going to be doing here just cleaning everything um, and getting it ready for power washing So if you've watched previous videos of my patio makeovers and refreshes <laughs> This back patio, we get absolutely no sunlight back here. Um, we have trees that just cover the whole back area and every winter and fall when the leaves fall um, and just winter comes, because there's no sunlight back here, it turns green and grimy and nasty. It covers my patio furniture. The deck looks disgusting. It's just, the patio's gross, it's just nasty. Um, but we recently discovered that two of the big trees that were closest to the house were completely hollowed out and rotted. Um, and we rented a lift and cut down about five trees that were closest to the house. Um, if you remember why we did this patio um, or this deck last year was because we had a small tornado that came through here so we had to get our roof replaced anyways so we just decided while they were doing that we were going to do this patio area too um, but you can see this is only a year old and how nasty and grimy it gets because there is no sun back here it's so gross <laughs> so I don't think I'll have to do such thorough power washing next year because we'll have a little bit more sunlight, but the transformation of those trees coming down um, and before the, the difference in light, I guess you can say, is crazy. <laughs> There's so much light back here now, so I'm hoping things don't turn green and get so gross as they did before because you can see it's nasty. It's so gross back here. Um, so the power washing is an absolute must going into the summer because it, we do use this area so much. But we were afraid if another storm came through here like it did last year that they would have fell into the house, those big trees. And they were probably one of the biggest trees that we had on the property. So it was a very dangerous situation um, when we realized what bad shape the trees were in. So I'm so, I'm glad they're down and I don't like cutting down the trees, but these ones just had to go. It was so bad. Um, but anyways, that the trees were down, I am just wanted to get this area power washed and the sun shining so brightly on, I don't know. It just is a complete transformation back here. So just that power washing just makes such a difference. But now I'm gonna work in these flower beds and if you also know my struggle with the chickens <laughs> from last summer, um, we have about 16 chickens now um, that we've been raising them. They were free range so they went all over the yard but they destroy everything. We tried everything to keep them out of the flower beds and keep them out of my plants, but nothing ever worked. Um, so they are in the coop from now on um, permanently because we also had a hawk situation that killed a few. So 
they're, they're just going to be put up, so I'm not really worried. But anyways, these they pulled up two of my hostas because they like taking dirt baths in my flower beds. So I had to transport um, some more hostas back here and then also lay some fresh new mulch that they also tore out of the flower beds. So fresh mulch and a power washing that's really all I could have done back here and made it look so much better but of course I had to add some more touches but the difference of that fresh mulch being laid it just makes everything look so clean and just I don't know ready for summer <laughs> so I'm just gonna finish laying in the flower beds my husband is an HVAC guy so he's gonna clean um, the uh, air conditioner unit and that's another thing project that we're going to have is getting a new air conditioner, but we're moving it off this patio. Um, but it's going to probably be like this for another year. So that's why I have the um, little box thing that goes around there just to kind of keep it a little bit cleaner looking back here. We also, when we cut down the trees, we had to take down all the lights. So I'm going to be restringing those back up, which is a chore all in itself. This is, it's something to put these lights on because they go all the way back to the back side of our property. So, but we love it. We love the lights back here. So I'm going to get these situated and get those all strung up and then we'll move on to the next part. So next I'm going to work in these planters that holds the posts to the lights. Um, as you can see that storm again that we had last year knocked a bunch of branches down and it cracked the pots. So I decided to build these planter boxes just around um, the tub that we had to plant the flowers. And then once all the flowers start to really kind of grow and all of that, it covers up that blue. So I'm not really worried about it, but um, these planter boxes just look so much better than the big blue buckets that we had back here. But I bought my flowers before the trees came down and I bought Impatience, which is a shade plant. Um, so we'll see how they do. Um, so far they're really big and lush and they're working just fine back here. So I got Impatience and then I forget what the other plant that I got in here. I usually get Creeping Jennies, I think that's what they're called. Um, but I went um, with a different route this time and I'm not too sure what the other plant that I'm planting in between the patients, these ones that I have in my hand, um, are called. I'm sure somebody will tell me, but they look like velvet, um, little like ears. I don't know. It's, they're very pretty and they're growing so much bigger than the impatient. So I'm hoping it all works out this year. Um, but again, so far they look really pretty and lush so far in the pot. So I'm just going to continue to do that. And then I'll move down to the other planter and do the exact same thing. Another thing I always do is use preen. I dump the crap on the <laughs> on the, my plants with the preen, and they always get so big. So definitely recommend that. And then I also got some hanging baskets back here, and then also two more pots that I'm going to put the rest of my impatience in, um, just for a little added extra touch. So I had a lot of impatience left, so that's what I'm gonna put in these pots, um, just to add a little bit extra color and prettiness back here.
So next I'm going to work on the deck area, the covered porch area, and get this all cleaned up. It needs to be dusted and all of that, but we did add lights up here as well. It just looks so pretty at nighttime. We again use this area so much in the evening time and when the sun goes down, those lights just illuminate this area and makes it so beautiful. I absolutely love it. But I'm just going to go around with this little duster, clean the fan, clean off all the cobwebs and stuff um, just where it wasn't in use from the winter and just get this taken care of before I start moving back all of the patio furniture. So to add those few little decorative touches, I picked up this basket at Five Below um, and I just think it's so cute. I've gotten tons of these baskets there before but I've never seen one like this so I thought it would be perfect back here to, herd, to hold our thermocell which is a mosquito repellent. Excellent. And then I also picked up these little incense um, sticks from Dollar Tree and I just put it in a little bucket with some rocks um, just to give some extra um, protection from the mosquitoes. I picked up this little wreath from um, the Dollar Tree that has like the five, I forget, I don't know what their section is called, but it was $5. And I just think it's such a cute little summery touch. And it goes really well with my other wreaths hanging up on the window. But this is how this area turned out, nice and clean and ready for company or just our evenings out here. I also picked up some of these solar lights from Ollie's um, for 19 for five, um, which I thought was a really good deal. Um, and just, you know, put those in the flower bed just to, again, add a little bit extra touch of light. So, but now I just wanted to get this area cleaned off around the steps before I start adding my beautiful little pots of these flowers. And as you can see, just a couple days how big these plants got um, it's crazy and then I had one more of those solar lights that I'm gonna put in here just to make it a little prettier down the pathway so this is how everything turned out I love how fresh and clean everything looks for summer I'm so excited to host and actually just sit out here during the summer and just enjoy our evenings as a family. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic start to your summer. If you do like today's video, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.